A WESTMINSTER FAMILY SAYS EMS AND POLICE WENT THE EXTRA MILE WHEN A DAD AND TWO SONS GOT IN A CAR ACCIDENT LAST MONTH. TODAY THEY GOT A CHANCE TO SAY THANK YOU. IT'S A STORY YOU'LL ONLY SEE HERE ON NEWS 4. WYFS NEWS 4'S ALLIE MILES HAS MORE. WE HAD SPUN ALL THE WAY AROUND A FEW TIMES. FOR THE KIRBY FAMILY, THIS IS THE FIRST TIME SEEING WHAT HAPPENED ALMOST EXACTLY A MONTH AGO. AND THE FIRST TIME GETTING TO SAY THANK YOU. I wanted to meet the first responder that held my hand the whole time and say thank you. A car pulled out in front of Chris's car. Chris hit his head, his two sons in the back seat, one with a broken leg. I heard my son Connor got me and uh, helped the paramedics get my older boy out. He's my hero. They helped me and my brother out and they, they, they were real easy with us. Cameron had to be airlifted to Greenville. I think God was watching over me because I wasn't wearing my seat belt. And I could have went through the windshield really easily. The family asked to meet the first responders who helped. It's not often, like he said, not often that we ever get thanked for what we do. And it's not why we do it, but we're very appreciated. Despite their modesty, the Kirby's say these guys didn't just do their job. They gave rides to the hospital, kept the sun out of their eyes. They held a little boy's hand when he was scared and hurt. It's not so much transporting people every day to a hospital. It's it's given the opportunity to hold their hands and. And be a, a, a person there when they're in need. Allie Miles, WYFF News 4 in Westminster.